Hey everyone Reflected here, and today's video is going to be a bit of a rant, albeit a well-earned one. And if you listen carefully, you can avoid a lot of trouble with DCS World. Although, it will be a hard pill to swallow for some. So, lately, I've only been spending around 50% of my free time, or less, on actual campaign building and mission testing. You know why? Because I'm getting several bug reports a day and because I pride myself in having my campaigns work 100% all the time, I always go and investigate. I try to recreate the problem so I can fix it, which is often very difficult and time consuming. I really appreciate bug reports because I do mess up sometimes and it's great when someone points it out and helps me get my campaigns in perfect working order. But a considerable amount of these bug reports are something I can't wrap my head around. I don't understand why they even happen and I really struggle to replicate only to find out that they were caused by the presence of, wait for it, unofficial mods. That's right kids, don't do mods. Wait a minute, unofficial mods are cool, they're free, often very well done and offer many assets and planes that would be awesome to have in DCS. But any, and I mean any unofficial mods can and probably will cause crazy bugs in DCS. Some people had the P-51's gun sound disappear after installing some ships. Some others had the slipper tank of the Spitfire spawn inside the fuselage. Others had every infantry unit disappear from missions because of a jet mod or the craziest one had every B-17 turn into an A-10 Warthog in a mission. Go figure. Or triggers that randomly fail to fire or fire prematurely. It's not just campaigns, but any official module within DCS is in danger. That's why DLC campaigns are not allowed to use any mods. I've already said this in a previous video, but the message didn't get through and I got a lot of flack for it. Oh, it's bullshit, people just don't know how to install mods. Or people were saying, I just have this and that mod installed, which is really good, it shouldn't be a problem. Or, oh, then I won't play any campaigns anymore. I choose the mods. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Dude, you may as well stop flying any official planes too. Listen, skins are okay. Kneeboard and sound mods are probably safe too. Don't take my word for it. But rule of thumb is, anything that has a 3D model will probably mess up your game. Not just campaigns, any module you have. Go get a glass of water if you need to, to help you swallow that pill. Official modules are like unofficial mods, except they were put in game well before release and an entire team of professional testers checked it and made sure it broke nothing else. Only when 100% compatibility has been verified are these released to the public. Then, they retest them after each DCS update to ensure they still work. On the other hand, we have the unofficial mods that were just uploaded to the internet by someone, period. You see the difference, right? Don't get me wrong, I really admire the work of these modders. Some of them are fantastic quality and I really wish we could safely use them. Maybe ED could incorporate some of them officially or implement a checkbox that instantly disables anything unofficial. I don't know how it works, it's none of my business actually. Here's the bottom line. I want you to think of mods like those brothels in Vietnam War books and movies. Sure, the girls are gorgeous and beautiful, but if you enter that door, <laughs> pun intended, don't be surprised if you get some nasty VD. Same with mods. Use them, by all means, but accept the fact that from then on, nothing official will be guaranteed to work anymore. It's your conscious choice. Don't come to me to hunt down these anomalies, because I have no way of doing that. It should have been the job of the maker of the mod, and you're wasting my time that I could have spent on building missions. That's it folks, rant over. If you listen to it, I thank you for your time and please spread the word. See ya!